So just how easy is it to fool around with Cinebench results? I'm going to show you real quick. Alright guys, so there's been a rash of a lot of Cinebench scores showing up lately and a lot of people are asking questions about them and they're seeing things in the timeline that are making them think that there are other CPUs, there's a lot of other things going on, or you've just had people mess with you and be like, hey, here's my results. Why aren't yours anywhere close? Well, I've got uh, Cinebench R15 installed on, or the unzipped onto here, and it's on a jump drive, and we're gonna install it, and we're gonna run it, and we're gonna see how easy it is to manipulate. So here we go, we've got, the, we've got it plugged in, and let's see. It's in my hwbot folder, Cinebench R15, and here we go. I'm gonna load it up. All right, so we're gonna let this run, and while this is running, I don't even remember what my CPU is clocked at. It's an 1800X, and I think it's running at 3.8 maybe. I was messing around with it with uh, 32 gigs of DDR4 2400, so these scores that we get here aren't gonna be impressive, but what we're doing is I'm getting these together so that we can get the file. And what file might you ask? Well, remember how you can, when you exit, it asks you if you want to save the file. So here we are, 1657, right? Nothing really that big to write home about. So we're gonna hit X, save benchmark. Okay, so we're, we're done with Cinebench. Eh, not quite. What we're gonna do right up here, this folder, this CB ranking, you open it up and you've got all of these results and they're just text files. Um, let's see here. But if you take here and you move it over just a little bit, all of a sudden you've got all of these results. So this is an 8350, this is the 1800X. What if, what if I'm, oh, look how easy that is. Look, everything's right there. All the specs and a notepad. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna make this look like a 12 core Ryzen 7, 3700X because there's rumors of that. So let's see here. Uh, logical cores, cores, let's see. Let's see here, eight. We're gonna go to 12. Uh, speed, we're gonna say it has a uh, speed of, uh, let's say 4100. That's just for the fun of it. Let's see here. Single, we're not gonna worry about single score, but here's a Cinebench, this is the, this, these are gonna be your scores right here. So 1656, we're gonna say it's gonna do um, 2218. This is a random number. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to save. Now we're going to go back we're going to relaunch Cinebench. <laughs> Looky there. A 12 core, 24 thread, 4.1 gigahertz. Oh, oh. I didn't save the name. Let's exit that again. Uh, 37. Forgot to change the name right there. Save. Because what I gotta do here is now I gotta go in here, change this name. But you see how easy that is. I mean we we just spoofed it. Right there. A 12 core, 24 thread, 4.1 gigahertz, Ryzen 7, 2700 x and we're gonna run Cinebench again. And <laughs> then we're gonna go another step further and have a little bit more fun with that. All right, so 1655, here, here, let's have a little bit more fun. Print screen, open, paint.net, span, let's see. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Busy. Oh. See, now we're being uh, secretive. Oh, what processor are we using now? So there you have it guys. I've completely faked the result for Cinebench. So this is the desktop, we got our timestamp. We've got a potential 12 core, 24 thread, Ryzen 7, 3700X. 
Of course, it still says 8-core. I was a little bit lazy on that one. But you get the point. It's extremely easy to spoof Cinebench R15. So always be a little bit leery of what you see posted at random on the internet when it comes to Cinebench. Always vet the best you can whether it's true or not. So, kind of concerning, huh? Alright guys, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and I'll catch you in the next video. Oh boy.